Hi everyone, welcome to Banmaska. Today we'll make a trio of uh, vegetables for snacks. My grandfather always used to tell me when you are eating vegetables, try and source vegetables that are of different colors and eat them. So we're going to do that today. If you look here, we have some brilliant shishito peppers uh, picked up from the farmer's market uh, yesterday. We have some cherry tomatoes. Uh, this is the season for cherry tomatoes. So as you can see, they're beautiful, different colors. And we have corn, we're going to eat it on the cob. And I'll show you how to make all three of them. We are going to start with the corn and the shishito peppers. What I'm going to do is season the shishito peppers with some um, extra virgin olive oil. The reason I'm doing it here and not on the pan is the shishito peppers have different shapes and you want the oil to get in and touch all corners of the shishito pepper. So there you see it has a beautiful glaze on it now. Get in with your hand, make sure you marinate them well. And then we'll cook both of them on the stuff. I have a skillet here which has been sitting on medium flame for about three minutes. So it's piping hot. I'm going to go in with some olive oil. The, the skillet transfers heat, so make sure you're not touching the skillet directly and you're using like a cloth or something to spread the oil across. And now, you see that sound? That's what you want to hear. I want to go in with all of my peppers. Simultaneously, you see the smaller stuff is also switched on. I'm going to put the corn directly on top of that. That's flipped up. And we'll turn it around. I like, like it well done. So I'll show you what that looks like. It needs to sit on this for about five minutes or so. I'll show you what that looks like. But we're going to cook this simultaneously and I'm going to use my chopping board to dice up the cherry tomatoes. I'll show you what we do with that. Chop off the head of the cherry tomatoes and cut them into half. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Chop off the head. The one thing I didn't mention is you definitely have to wash the vegetables that you're bringing in. So definitely do that under cold water. Shishito peppers to be sitting on each of their sides for about a minute so that you start seeing blisters on them. That's the kind of blister you want to see. You see? And then turn it over and let the other side blister as well. The corn around, and that's the color I'm looking for. The peppers are blistering away. A great way to check that the peppers are done is if you use your tongs and squeeze the peppers, there's a lot of give. And some of these peppers have a lot of give and some of them don't. Like this has the proper amount of give. So I'm going to take this out and put it on a plate with a paper towel. But I'll give the others a, a few minutes. So I'm going to take them off one by one. Turn the gas off completely. and let them sit on the paper towel for a couple of minutes before you season them. Meanwhile, if you take a look at the corn, this is cooking away brilliantly. And I absolutely love the char I'm seeing on the corn. As you can see, the, the, the corn's charring really well. I'm gonna char it for a minute and a half. I'm almost there. Take it off the heat. I'll show you how to dress the cherry tomatoes and then we'll be ready to eat. The corn is perfectly cooked to my liking. So I'm going to take it off the heat and I'll show you what to do with the corn in a bit as well. But I'm just going to take it off the heat for a minute. To season the corn, I'm going to take a small slice of butter. This is unsalted butter. I'm going to season this with 
some pepper. I have some sea salt here. I'll just sprinkle that on my plate. Now, because the corn's hot, as I put it on the butter, the butter is going to melt and season my corn beautifully. You see, it's starting to get that glaze. That's exactly what you're looking for. Now, if you, if you like to do this any other way, please feel free to do it. This is the kind of seasoning I like. You roll it around about 15 times and you'll get to a place where the corn will be fantastic. The shishito peppers was on the paper towel for about five minutes. They've cooled down. I'm gonna season them lightly with some sea salt. And again, go in with my pepper. That's done. The last thing we have is the cherry tomatoes. Now I'll show you how to season them and then we are ready to eat. To season the cherry tomatoes, I do a combination of, again, sea salt, pepper, and some honey. So this is again, raw honey we picked up from the farmer's market. I take, for that amount of tomatoes, I take about half a, tablespoon of uh, honey and I'll heat it slightly on the stuff directly and then put it into the cherry tomatoes and then season them. Given this is raw honey, I am going to heat it a little bit. If you have bottled honey in a jar, you can use it directly. I'm going to heat it for a slight bit till the honey starts sliding. You see the honey has started sliding. That's the amount of heat I need. I'm going to switch out the gas. We are ready to season our cherry tomatoes. So I go in with the entire honey, bring about a pinch of sea salt, crack in some pepper. You can mix this with, with a spoon. I'm just gonna go with my hand so that it seasons beautifully. And there you have it. Ideally, I would like to put some lemon in it. I don't have any lemon at home. If you do, please put it in. You can also mix it up with some cheese. Feta cheese is great. Burrata goes brilliantly with cherry tomatoes. Uh, we are done and we are reached that part of the video where we are ready to eat. So let's take a look. Let's take a bite of the shishito peppers. As you can see, they've been blistered perfectly. They're seasoned perfectly. So, Mm. Absolutely incredible. Well, I'm ready to eat. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.